Hey guys, Chris here. And when it comes to Apple stock, there are huge big time analysts and investors that are still very bearish on Apple. Even though this is a $2 trillion company and it's an ecosystem, it's a world within itself. Now, Apple has been rising as of late, gaining almost 14% in the past 12 trading days. And that's pretty good amounts of growth. They're still 7% below their all time highs. Now, the big thing is that Apple has announced that on April 20th, they will have their very first presentation of the year and on april 28th they will be releasing their earnings after hours so in this video i want to talk about whether or not apple stock is a must buy stock before the presentation or before their earnings and i also want to go over some huge rumors about their new apple vehicle as always i'll try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that i possibly can to make sure you guys are the most up-to-date and if this is something you like you do enjoy please remember to give me a big thumbs up it does help me out so without further ado guys let's talk about apple Apple right now is trading for $134.16. Around March 29th and March 30th is where they were trading for $119, $120. But you can see this type of momentum right here, they gained so much momentum because of the new rumors that have been coming out. There was a point in time where 9 out of the 11 trading days, Apple was very positive. And the two days that they were negative, they were almost breaking even for those two days. Now, Apple currently has a market cap of 2.25 trillion dollars that is huge that's probably one of the best companies to buy right now based off market cap they have an average volume of 106.3 million and many analysts and investors do think apple is still an overvalued company but when it comes to apple guys is it really ever overvalued you could kind of see in the past six months it has been fluctuating up and down a lot but in the past year look at these type of gains of april 21 of year 2020 apple was trading for around 67 dollars before their stock split right and since then has gained so much momentum and just apple keeps on continuing to improve no matter who what or what exactly is going on in the world or what type of situation now when it comes to their presentation that was announced for april 20th what are we expecting this presentation will kick off at 10 a.m pacific time and can be streamed through the company's website and is expected to include new ipads with improved screens and more horsepower now isn't it weird because didn't last year they already improved their ipads remember guys iPads is a huge revenue source for Apple. Apple's also rumored to release new AirPods, a new Apple TV streaming box, and perhaps some new Macs running on Apple's affordable M1 processor. Now, it's very interesting that they're talking about their Macs because lately their Macs have been on a very short supply, and their lead time to even get their more affordable Macs has been around seven to 10 days when it comes to online purchases, okay? And it's just extremely limited right now of the high demand Apple has had with their Macs, okay? So this presentation is going to show us a lot of new different things. And it's kind of crazy how every time there's something going on on April 20th, they always have to mention Elon Musk, even though Apple and Elon Musk have nothing to do with each other. I just find it interesting that every time it's 420, people always mention Elon Musk. Who knows why? If you do know why, please comment down below and let me know why, all right, guys? Another thing that has been rumored is their Apple car, okay? Now, Apple has been rumored to be working on a project called Titan, where they have been working on a mysterious vehicle that could be autonomous, okay? And, and investors, when they found out, they had a buying frenzy for Apple, but at the same time, you can't really portray the stock price of Apple because they haven't really sold or hasn't really confirmed a vehicle, right? And there's many analysts that believe there's still 12% upside for Apple stock price right now because the growing autonomous vehicle is very ambitious and it does not reflect the stock price that it currently is right now. So if Apple ever does officially confirm an Apple vehicle or an autonomous vehicle or a partnership or with their technology to any other you know uh, automaker right there apple stock could really you know really really improve okay and apple will be attacking a very lucrative industry for example the auto making industry is around 2.55 trillion dollars in 2020 versus 420 billion dollars versus the smartphone market okay so apple could very much target an industry that's very more lucrative than their iPhones right now. And we all know that Apple is heavily lying on their iPhones to make them a lot, a lot of money and resources, right? Now, Apple has a tremendous amount of cash in hand on their balance sheet that they have billions of dollars on the balance sheet. They 
continuously make billions of dollars in revenues all the time so one of the biggest things that does help apple is that they could invest in themselves when it comes to buying out stocks or investing in the technology and even expanding so if they want to they could easily say you know what we are going to attack this industry right here we're going to compete with a tesla we're going to compete with uh volkswagen or nissan or honda or toyota they will compete okay now one of the biggest things is that remember guys when the first iphone came out or when the first iPod came out, it was very limited resources to what exactly portrayed there. So the very first Apple car may not be the best one, but give them a few couple years, it could really start to improve. Now, one of the biggest things is that also, Apple has never confirmed anything, okay? Apple is one of the most secretive companies when it comes to what they're gonna be producing with the new products they're gonna be coming out. They're very secretive. So there are rumors that this car might come out, but maybe it may not be through them. Maybe they could sell their technology to other companies, okay? In January, Apple reported that they held talks with Hyundai and Kia affiliate about a manufacturing partnership. Since then, Apple has been in discussions with other automakers, for example, Nissan. They're, they're going to be working on the EV side as well. So if Apple could somehow give them technology that could help them propel themselves, that could also, again, guys, benefit Apple, okay? They also had like a year that around 2024, they could be releasing some something, right? Whether it's a, something of technology, something of battery, or something had to do with this autonomous vehicle. They don't want to miss out on the EV and autonomous party that's on the horizon, Iva said. We think it's a $5 trillion market over the next decade, and that could possibly benefit Apple long term. Whether if they're selling cars or their technology, Apple could really benefit from it. Apple has the money, has the manpower, has the technology to really take over, okay? Now, that's basically my opinion on the cars, guys. Now, when it comes to the earnings, Apple will be announcing their earnings on April 20th after market close, after hours, right? Now, there's a lot of things to expect. We may see some decline in their max, you know, when it comes to the revenues. Okay, we are going to see a lot of hyped up things when it comes to the products. I always love to hear Apple's, you know, year guidance to see what they will be attacking next quarter or the next year. And it's always going to be interesting when it comes to Apple. I always believe that every time Apple has a presentation or an earnings, the very next day, it always dips down. That's one of those buy the rumors, sell the news type of deals because Apple's presentation and earnings always overwhelm people and really do bring a lot to the table so once these days do come expect a little bit of a dip and a little bit of pullback because people will be taking some profits but that could be a great buying opportunity for us investors to really capitalize and pick up more and more shares for apple now my stock price prediction for apple guys i do believe apple could really be 150 dollars in the next couple months and by the end of the year they could easily reach 160 dollars and it's still a lot of upside even gaining a new all-time high this year i don't know if you guys could tell but i'm very bullish on apple i always try not to be as really biased for apple stock because i do believe in it long term short term whatever type of term you guys want to put it in but apple guys is a really huge company that will stay here forever in my opinion i do not see any other company actually competing with apple and exactly what they do all right guys so that's basically my opinion on apple and what i will be doing when it comes to the presentation and their earnings all right guys so that if you guys have any comments issues concerns please comment them below let me know what you guys think if you guys did enjoy the video please run to give me a big thumbs up it does help me out so thank you all for watching have a great day see you guys next time salutes to you all be safe peace out bye